Hello to everyone, my name is Ruben de la Iglesia. I work in Comap headquarters in Prague as product manager. And in this video, I would like to show you how to use the PLC that the PLC editor that we have in some of our controllers. Now I'm gonna use IntelliC MTCP to show you, okay? And because of that, I'm gonna need to use the tools GenConfig and IntelliMonitor. In GenConfig, the only thing we need to go is to go to this PLC editor tab, okay? where we have the PLC editor, and then here we have everything we need to draw our PLC. You have several windows, like these ones, that you can make bigger and smaller, according to your preferences, okay? You can do also with this one, and you can also do with this sheet, that is the sheet where we where we paint the, the PLC, okay? And now, okay, so how we start to draw the PLC, to paint the PLC? The only thing that we need to do is go to the blocks. We have all these blocks here, okay? It's PLC block programmed. And now I only need to click in one of these blocks and drag and drop. This is how we call it. You just click, drag, move and drop. Okay, uh, once I did this, I can move as I want, okay? But I can do with also other blocks. I can move and put them wherever I want. For example, these random blocks I'm gonna take here. You can put be, uh, behind, in front, and so on. It's not a problem. It's quite flexible. And okay, one of the ideas of this video is explain the basic thing. So for that, just click in one block and press F1. This is probably the most important thing. Why? Because you will enter in the help, as in many other situations in ComUp, and here is explain all the logic that is behind that concrete block, okay? You can find a really important tutorial if you don't know what is doing one block. If you double click in the, in the block, you can choose other options. For example, I can change to a block that is an OR, and now it will become an OR. I can add also more inputs, and I can also invert some of the inputs, and also why not the output that you can see here. When I invert the outputs, okay, you can see here a white ball in the input or in the output. That means that it's inverse. In ComUp, we have different colors, okay? The white means that it's inverted and is that it's going to do the opposite that it's expected to do, okay? But also, uh, we have the, the black one. That means that it's a binary input, binary output, okay? And we have the green color. That means that it's analog input, analog output. Also, there are blocks like this comparisons one that they are a mix. They have a analog inputs and binary outputs. Okay, now uh, here you need to put all the inputs that are you are gonna use in the PLC, okay? And in the other side you have the same, the same boxes, but for the outputs. How to do it? Just double click. It will open this window. Let's wait a little bit for loading. And here we will see all the inputs, okay? We have the binary inputs, analog values, set points, and PLC set points that I will talk about that later. I can take physical binary input from the controller, the binary inputs can see you from controller unit, okay? Or I can take a binary output, physical binary output that is gonna be the input of my PLC. But also it's really interested the logic functions, logic binary outputs that are programmed. For example, I can choose the one that is called a manual mode. Manual mode, that means that, well, let me adjust this first. I'm gonna make the block simple. I will let it as OR, but only two, only two inputs and, and without invert the output, okay? And now if I want to connect, just click and connect, okay? And I'm gonna choose, because I choose manual mode, I wanna choose also off mode. What that means, that when the controller is in manual mode or off mode, one of these inputs respectively, respectively is, gonna, is gonna turn on, okay? We will see later, but I choose the off mode, just connect here, and for the output, just click and connect here. Now the output is connected, but it has nothing configured. I can configure a physical binary output to be there, okay? Or also, I can configure it a, a logic input that it has a pre-programmed function, okay? I'm gonna choose as a binary output. To do that, 
it's important that I just choose, press the button connect, and then it will be connected, okay? I press OK and now it's connected. So I'm gonna delete this block and let's gonna test what, what this PLC is doing. It's really simple. It should do that when I'm in manual or off mode, then the binary output 16, it should be activated. I'm gonna write the configuration in the controller. As you know, every time that you use same config, you need to write the configuration in the controller. And now it will ask me for the admin password. Here it is. By default, it's zero or one in comap. And now it will be programmed. Okay, now it's programmed. And now we are waiting for initialization. It takes some time to restart the controller and initialize. But to check what we did, we are gonna go to a uh, to in telemonitor, okay? Because we have some nice feature there that I wanna show you. We are waiting for initialization. If I go to in telemonitor, you see that it's missing something. It's waiting for for connect, okay? And once it's initialized, it will appear the normal values here. So let's wait. And here it is. Now we are connected, okay? And I wanna show you something that we call it PLC monitor that you can open in this button, okay? Or just go into the menu, to the menu um, uh, monitor and PLC monitor, okay? You can open in both ways. That show me in real time what, what is the values in my PLC and what is doing the PLC, okay? Here you can see how it looks like. If something is active, it appears in blue, okay? So what is happening? We are in off mode and then the output is activated because we are in off, in off mode and it's gonna be active all the time that we are in off or manual. I'm gonna try to put the both at the same time, okay? But I don't think it's gonna be possible uh, to have the two windows open at the same time. But if now I change to, uh, because I have manual mode, I'm gonna change to manual mode. It's up here, but I put it again. Then you see that now manual mode is with the blue line. That means that it's active, okay? The output is still active. If I change to out mode, now the output it should be the active. There it is. Okay, so here you can monitor in what your PLC is doing. This is the most basic. Now I wanna talk about some of the utilities that I didn't explain yet, okay? So let's go back to the gen config. And when you are gonna do your PLC, uh, there are a few things that are quite useful. For example, you can save your sheet, okay? And use or op and open it. And use in different configurations. You can create some general logic and use it in different configurations, okay? Also, you can change the name of the sheet if you do double click in the name, okay? You just need to put hello and some text with the explanation about the PLC is doing. And you will see that the name of the change, it will change. The name of the sheet, it will change. Okay, what more? Uh, here, uh, you can delete the sheet, everything will be removed, but more important is that you can create new sheets, okay? Here, in add new sheets. So now I'm gonna make the other one smaller. Okay, and you can have different sheets to organize your PLC logic in different sheets with different logic each one and be more organized and help and it will be helpful for find mistakes, okay? And now the last thing I wanna talk uh, is about the PLC set points. I'm gonna create just some simple logic to show you even I'm not gonna configure it, but do you remember when I was configuring the inputs that I talk about the PLC set points. PLC set points is a function that we have in Comap that you can add here, PLC set points. Go to PLC, there are a total of 64, okay? And you can configure it a set point, a set point with the parameters you want. You can put the name you want, for example, test. You can choose the units, for example, RPM, the resolution, and you can limit the, the values. For example, I'm gonna put between zero and 2000. I'm going to press apply, OK. And I'm just going to connect this one, OK, here. And just, just to show you how it looks like with analog values in the, in the, PL, in the PLC monitor. I'm going to break the configuration, as always. OK. 
and now that it's written I will wait for initialization I will go to IntelliMonitor and I'm gonna show you how the PLC setpoints looks like and how the analog values looks in the PLC monitor if I open the PLC monitor you can see that literally it appears 0 RPM okay it appears the value literally there if now I go to normal setpoints there is a new group that at the end that is called PLC okay I'm not gonna be able to have both of them at the same time but if I go to PLC group I will find my set point and then I can put a value between 0 and 2000 because it's what I choose I will put for example 1500 rpm okay and there you can see that now the value that appears there is 1500 rpm okay so you can create your own PLC to pass the information to the controller I will put 800 for example and immediately it changes to 800 so it can help you to create some nice PLC configurations and also if you remember here in modules we didn't have something called PLC it's, it is add automatically don't worry when you start to create the PLC if you remove then all the PLC will disappear so basically you don't need to do anything here just to show you that it will appear there and probably that's all I hope that this video has been useful for you to start to use the PLC and if you have any question please don't hesitate to contact us or also remember really important F1 it will show you all the information you know about the PLC it's really useful remember about the F1 okay and that's it that's it if you have any question contact our technical support department and See you in the next video.